So we have something here that I call a basic person problem. It's the simplest person problem that is possible. First, we're going to solve this problem as if we are taking, say, college algebra. So when you're taking college algebra, person problems should not be new to you. At that point, you should probably do something like this. Well, this is what I do. So 80% of a number is 72. Find this number. Well, once upon a time, there was a number x. And when we took its 80%, we got 72. What is that number? Well, now it's a one-step equation, which we solve for x. And so the answer is 90. And we can check. If we take 80% of 90, that should be 72. Now we're going to solve this problem as if person problems were new to us. Uh, I'm still going to assume that you know how to solve one-step equations. So let's get started. A little bit of review. And before I start, person problems are infamous for, there are so many different ways to do this. So I'm, I am not saying that this is the only way. I'm not saying that this is uh, the best way. I'm just saying this is the way I'm showing to you. All right, let's get started. So. In every basic person problem, there are three characters. In this sentence, there are three different numbers. This is probably not very nice towards English, but it kind of works. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to call this the is number. And usually the word is is nearby, either before it or after it, but really close. Very similarly, we're going to call 60 the of number, also called the base. And this is probably the most easy to, to identify. This we're going to call the fraction. So it doesn't matter what type of a problem are we looking at. So the formula is, is, is fraction times of. And it doesn't matter which uh, type of a question we have, we can always use this formula. We just have to identify which uh, number is which. In the sentence, 80% of a number is 72. <clears throat> if we go back, is is always fraction times of. So we need to sort out who is who in this picture. Well, 80% is the same as 80 over 100, so that's very easily recognizable to be the fraction. And because the denominator is 100, this one is a nice decimal as well. This is uh, just 0.8. Doesn't matter which form we use. <clears throat> if the denominator is not nice, we should stick with uh, fractions. Now, is and 72 are very, very close to each other. And that seems to be the right idea because over number find this number. So the of number is the one that is withheld and asked. So now the, we apply the same formula, which is is, is fraction times of, and wherever x lands, we will solve for it there. So is is 72 equals 0 0.8 times x. And so now we have a cute, small, short, little one-step equation, which we will solve for x. We're going to divide by whatever is multiplying x. So we're going to divide both sides by 0.8, which is the same as 8 over 10. And so x is going to be 72 divided by 8 over 10. And to divide is to multiply by the reciprocal. So we have 72 times 10 over 8. Between 72 and 8, there is cancellation, because 72 divided by 8 is 9. So we have... 90. 